Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemsicle and welcome to episode 5 of Mean Girls Spring Break. It's been a minute, right, since we played this game. It's, I don't even know when episode 4 came out. A long, long time ago. We need to get back into this game because I really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 5. Here we go. Before we get started, actually, I have a link in the top line of the description. If you click that link, you can go ahead and you can get yourself some free gems. Green eyed, don't take this the wrong way, but you're still a long way from being Regina. Rude. Was that supposed to be constructive? Because it was just rude. There's a prime example. Regina would plough right through a dish like that and come at me on the attack. Noted. It's just, the Stacey's was just so intimidating. There wasn't even a single stray hair on their judgmental eyebrows. <laughs> oh my god, I know. I have to ask those girls who their brow artist is. Can we focus here? If Greenard doesn't totally charm the Greek council, we're not going to get the scholarship. So I can't ask the Stacys where they get their brows done. I'm pretty sure St. Jezebel is a free country, Damien. <laughs> Don't talk to the Stacys, Gretchen. Seriously, we need to keep those girls at arm's length. If those girls suspect for a second that Greenoid isn't Regina, it's lights out. Uh -oh. Not only will we get booted from the competition, but we'll be in huge trouble with the Greek Council. Oh, and it will be all my fault. It's not your fault that Regina is a beautifully complicated person. Um, she's not that complicated. Come on, she's not rocket science. She's just a hyper-confident bully with a heart of gold? Silver? Bronze. <laughs> Say what you will, but you have no idea what makes Regina tick. Hmm, if only someone knew exactly what made Regina tick. I said if only someone knew exactly. Subtlety doesn't look good on you, Gretchen. Everything looks good on me, Damien. <laughs> if you know Regina so well, not if, I know everything about Regina. I'm her best friend. I know exactly how she would behave in every type of situation. Oh, prove it or will you help me? Let's just say, will you help me? Yeah, will you help me? That's great, you can teach me how to Regina. She's not a dance move. She's a queen, <laughs> like me. <laughs> She's not like you, she's not like anyone. No one is like her, but everyone wants to be like her. That's rule number one. Should I write that down? Why are you asking us? Regina doesn't ask other people what to do. Exactly, Damien. Hey, that's the first time you two have agreed on something since we got to St. Jezebel. So, what else do I need to know? How to walk like her, talk like her, dress like her, dislike her. This is basically plimagleb. What does that say? <laughs> this is basically plimaglion. You have no clue. No, Regina is actually a vegetarian. It's a play, Gretchen. Exactly, and we need to start rehearsing. No laughing. Regina only laughs when people underestimate her. And can you stop looking so awkward? Mastering the art of Regina starts with body language. Show me confident. More. <laughs> That's more like it. Now say, my name is Regina George and I came here to win. Hi, I'm Regina George and I came here to win. Make us cower in fear. My name is Regina George and I came here to win. That's my girl. <laughs> How much time do we have before the presentation? Not much. Then we have to act fast. 
Right now, your Regina is like a three out of 10. You need an intensive Regina lesson and a head to toe makeover. This is not going to happen unless you out Regina, Regina. And you can't do that without more training and the right look. Damien's right, we're not going to win unless I become the perfect Regina. Get a Regina lesson and a new outfit for 40 gems, or we can wing it. Luckily, we have got some gems. So we can go ahead and get a Regina lesson and a new outfit. Let's use 40 gems. Yes, please, I'm in. Woohoo! Let's start with elocution. One thing about Regina, she never gets tongue-tied. Okay, 50 feisty females fell for fake flirting. Enunciate. 50 feisty females fell for fake flirting. Better. Now you need to learn the art of making heads turn. Anytime Regina walks through a crowd, everyone stops to stare at her. Now it's your turn. Ready? Go. No one's staring. Hmm. That didn't really work. <laughs> no. <laughs> your head's not in the game. Try it again. Okay. I can do this. Come on, green eyed. Oh, look, there we go. Everyone's staring. <laughs> now for the best part, the wardrobe. I found the perfect Regina style power suit for her to wear at the presentation tonight. Come on out, green eyed. Presenting Miss Regina George 2. Ooh, picture perfect better than the original. Are you two like in love with me or something? And she's even learned to talk the talk. I feel like a proud parent. <laughs> oh, you guys are too cute. Regina, I mean, um, I don't have time for your tears, losers. I have a hundred thousand dollars to win. Why is there a giraffe on that toilet? That's random, right? Oh, what's the matter with Janice? We're officially grass-fed animals. We can now be sold at your local, local farmer's market. Exactly, grass is good for you. Otherwise, why would cows eat it? <laughs> that question is too moronic to justify with an answer. Hey, I'm not a moron. I'm a free spirit and stuff. You forgot to drop the anchor. It was your idea to come here in the first place, Regina. Wrong, it was hers. You're blaming me. Coming here was a great idea. You two tagging along was the problem. Tagging along? I'm pretty sure I sailed you here on an epic cruise. How about a thank you? Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, my food and my tent are out there floating somewhere in the Caribbean. Thanks to you, I'm stranded with Regina George. <laughs> She's not impressed either. Calm down, ladies. The Chasmeister has it under control. Oh, please. The only one qualified to take control of this situation is me. So from now on, I'm in charge. No thanks, I will not let this island become a fascist regime. Then hold a protest. I'm already on a hunger strike. Good luck with that. Meanwhile, as the leader, I'm gonna find us some real food. Remember what we've been practicing? R stands for ravishing. E stands for effortless. G stands for graceful. I stands for insufferable. <laughs> Don't be sarcastic. I'm being honest, you're annoying me. Come on, let's mingle. Oh my God. What? I just can't believe how good you are at this. 
Guess those Regina lessons paid off after all. I'd now like to call Damien Lee and Regina George from U of E to give their presentation on their vision for the future of Greek life. Hi everyone! I probably don't need to introduce myself, but in case you didn't catch our interview yesterday, my name is Regina George and this is Damien Lee. We're proud to represent the University of Evanston here at the National Greek Conference in St Jezebel. And we'd like to say thank you again for having us here. Regina, before you start, you must tell me where you bought that gorgeous pantsuit. I can't tell you how refreshing it is to have a break from all the cocktail dresses I've been seeing here at this conference. <laughs> Thank you Therese. We're going to talk to you about our vision for the future of Greek life, which begins with us and ends with you. Greek life is about three things, community, leadership and great parties. They're liking that one. We see Greek life as an incubator to foster creativity, interpersonal connections, and more importantly, great ideas. So I'm sure you're wondering, how do we get there? The answer, working together. If I've learned one thing in my time as president of Delta Mu Tau, it's that teamwork makes the dream work. They are loving our speech. I'm killing it, now for the ultimate Regina move. Hmm, should we interact with the crowd or tell a story? I feel like Regina would maybe tell a story but I feel like I want to interact with the crowd so let's go for that. Let's start with a little teamwork right now. You, what's your name? I'm Lauren. Hi Lauren, my name's Regina and I'm in love with that belt. Thanks, it's my mum's from the 80s. And freeze. What just happened here? Uh, you said you liked her belt? Wrong. I made a new friend and got inspired to raid my mum's closet the second I get back to Evanston. This is the power of social capital in the Greek world. The more we learn from one another, the more we can grow as a whole. Whoa, that Regina chick really knows her stuff. We're talking about EDM festivals, mud wrestling championships, April Ween, Splash Bash, Kegs and Eggs, Mardi Gras, Ugly Sweater Day, and much, much more. But let's not forget that fraternities and sororities are also value-based organisations. Besides parties, we are dedicated to the development of character and lifelong friendships. Boring! Kidding. U of E Greek life already has such a positive influence on campus. I mean, hello, we basically keep our campus social life afloat. And we're also super philanthropotic, philanthropotic, <laughs> and so we have amazing karma. Thanks for your time. We look forward to partying with y'all. And don't forget your shades, because the future of Greek life is looking bright. That was a pretty good speech, I'd say. I have to say, I underestimated Regina George. Did you see how in command she was up there? The judges like us, that's a good thing. They were hanging on her every word. She was so well-spoken and articulate. Sadly, that's a rarity these days. Poise? Check. Presentation? Check. Commitment to Greek life? Double check. Her charisma's through the roof and she's clearly passionate about this competition. Ladies, I think we just might have this year's winners on our hands. We may win this thing. And that's when I said, that's not how you use a microwave. Get it? His grandma thought it was a TV because she's really old. Boo! Oh no, they're not good at comedy. I don't think they were into that joke. Respect the elderly, you jerk. Yikes, tough crowd. Shh, we just have to warm them up. 
Now I have a serious question, Katie. What is it, Aaron? What if soy milk is just milk introducing itself in Spanish? Oh my goodness, <laughs> you suck. Do you guys want to know the real reason I wanted to come to St. Jezebel? No, we wish you never came in the first place. Um, okay, what do you call a science teacher with two pairs of glasses? Get off the stage. Harsh crowd, right? Maybe we should listen to them. Oh, they just, oh, poor things. They just walked off the stage. Wow, that was super embarrassing. These people must have no sense of humour. Yeah, that's for sure what it is. Hey, we were awesome. We weren't awesome. But we were adventurous. We broke the boring spell. Oh, here's Karen. Still no signal. Why is the service here so terrible? I'd like to see you do better. <laughs> the waitress. <laughs> That's what my dad said the second time I failed kindergarten. <laughs> She's hilarious. <laughs> I think I saw her stand up at a comedy club in New York City last year. I'm afraid my phone is punishing me for the times I've dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> Guess the crowd isn't as tough as we thought. We're just too boring to be funny. <laughs> hey, we are not a boring couple. This is just a minor setback. Aww. Hello, Stacy and Stacy and Stacy. So, Damien, we're all wondering, did you learn motivational speaking in one of those weight loss groups? Yeah, that's also where I met your boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. I wonder why you have such a great personality. You aren't going to win this. Keep telling yourself that if it helps you deal with reality. Hey, so you're the infamous Regina George. It's that cute guy from the beach. Hmm, seems like he doesn't remember meeting me or me snapping at him. Awesome presentation. You really killed it up there. Be sweet or be sassy. Let's be sweet. That's really nice of you. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin. I actually have two follow-up questions for you, if you don't mind. Go for it. One, what's April ween? Oh, it's basically just Halloween in April. <laughs> Genius. I wouldn't go that far. So modest. Next question. Would you be interested would you be interested in grabbing a drink with me sometime? Oh, um well, I'm really busy with this convention. Is this the end? Yeah, there we go. That is the end of the episode. We're quite good at pretending to be Regina George. I think that went really really well. Don't forget, if you want to get some free gems, go ahead and click that link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'm glad to get Mean Girls back. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!